Patrick Eugene Holland was one of the country's most notorious criminals, a gunman, an INLA man, an armed robber and a career criminal. Originally from Chapel Lizard in Dublin, he came from a good family, was friends with Garthi when young and went to the US with one of them and joined the US Army. However, he got homesick in Chicago and came home, moved into crime and served sentences for armed robbery and possession of explosives and detonators. However, he came to national prominence when he was named in court as the man who shot the journalist Veronica Gear in dead on the Nace Road in June of 1996. Holland always denied he was the man who pulled the trigger. I must have been travelling between the time it happened, but I ended up at the labour at, for two o'clock. Now, the time limit, because on, of the time limit, fast, I can't, I can't. On I, a fast oh, motorbike. Oh yeah, that's true, oh yeah, that's true, Pat, I'm not denying that. But So you oh, don't have a cast iron alibi? I don't have a cast iron alibi, no Pat, I do not. The Gardaí had intelligence that Holland was the hitman from within the gang, including Charles Bowden, the gang's quartermaster, who subsequently gave evidence against the other gang members in court. However, it was not enough to try him, and even though he was named in court as the killer, Holland was never charged with the murder. Patrick Holland was a key figure in John Gilligan's drug dealing gang. Gardaí say he was nominated to kill Veronica Guerin after Brian Meehan and another gang member failed in a previous shooting to kill the rival criminal Martin Foley. The Gilligan gang smuggled millions of euro worth of cannabis in here through Cork for distribution all over the country. But both Gilligan and Holland were caught in possession of those drugs and sent to prison. Holland served nine years in Port Leash before he was released in April of 2006. But Holland spent less than a year out of prison. He went to England, but was arrested and jailed there for planning the £10 million sterling honey trap kidnapping of a UK businessman. Considering the life he led, it was always likely that Patrick Eugene Holland would end his days in prison. And at six o'clock this morning, he was found dead in his cell in Parkhurst Prison. He was 70 years of age and had heart problems. The UK prison service says there will be an investigation, but he appears to have died of natural causes. On hearing the news of his death this afternoon, both Veronica Guerin's mother, Bernie, and the former assistant commissioner, Tony Hickey, who led the murder investigation, simply said, Lord have mercy on his soul. Paul Reynolds, RTE News, Cork.